All right, what's going on, y'all? It's Edwin Andre coming at y'all with another video today. And if you watched my last video where I showed the official gameplay from Las Vegas with the 2K event, then you would know in that video I said that I'll be showing some things that were similar to 2K17 that I believe was also in this game. So in this video, what I'm going to be doing is going over those things as well as showing some new features that I saw that was in the game that y'all really probably didn't realize. So without further ado, I'm going to stop talking to go ahead and get into the first thing. All right, so the first thing on my list is the new scoreboard. Now, me personally, I didn't think the scoreboard in 2K19 was that bad. I know a lot of people had a problem with it, you know what I'm saying? Because the scoreboard for 2K19 was similar to 2K18 and 17. You know what I'm saying? Because they just took the borders off the scoreboard 2K19 from 18 to 17. But like I said, it ain't really that big of a deal. That's why I got it at the first thing on the list. But either way, it look a lot better. You know what I'm saying? Look a lot cleaner. But anyway, that's the first thing on the list. And now let's go to number two. All right, now the next thing I noticed while watching this gameplay the other day was that the bench players now had a little t-shirt so when they go to the bench because I don't know if y'all realize or not, but in the real NBA, when players go to the bench, they sometimes put a little overshirt on over their jersey and all that while they sit on the bench. And this not being in 2K20 just makes the game more realistic because I don't know if y'all remember or not, but in 2K19, when the players was on the bench and they already been subbed in, they would just be wearing a regular jersey, like a jersey and shorts. And the players that ain't been subbed in yet would be just wearing like, you know, a full team uniform or a team warm-up suit or whatever you want to call it. Like, even though I know this is a real small feature and it's not very, you know, important, in the grand scheme of the whole game i still cared about it a lot because you know i'm a person that plays you know play now online or offline quick match because i'll be playing a lot of games you know what i'm saying against the computer or when i was against the computer but i'll be playing a lot of games online and play now online you know i'll be playing simulation style more than you know parking program like y'all be doing but anyway that's it for number two so now i'm gonna go to the next one on the list at number three all right, now a third thing I noticed while watching the gameplay from Las Vegas was the blowout animation return. Now in 2K18, y'all had a problem with the whole blowout thing. Me personally, I think the blowout should be in the game because in a real NBA, you know you got players like John Wall blowing past his defender if his defender's too slow to stay in front of him and all that. Like blowbys are realistic because as you just saw, it happens in a real NBA. And I feel like in 2K18, it should have been nerfed, not just taking out the game altogether, but the developers like Mike Wayne probably got annoyed with y'all complaining about the blowby all year, so they just took it out altogether. Thus creating overpowered defense in 2K19 because there was no blowby animation. Like, I grew up playing basketball. I'm a six foot three point guard, and I was usually faster than my defenders, so like, I could blow past them on the court in real life if I was faster than them. Because I feel like on 2K19, you can't get past your defender if they weigh more to you. It's not even about speed, really, it's about weight. You know, speed kills, so I feel like, you know, if I have more speed than my defender, I should be able to get past them. But that's just my opinion, man. So on to the next one. All right, the fourth new feature I noticed while watching the gameplay is that there's a new shot coverage detection system. Now you can see there's actual percentile in front of the cover sign. So now you can know exactly how covered you are or how wide open you was. Like on 2K19, it would just say lightly contested, heavily contested, or smothered or whatever it say. So now it's, you know, going to leave you a better indicator of how open you was when you're taking your shots. Now, I don't really count this one as a new feature. It's more of like a tweak thing, I guess you could say. Because now on 2K20, when you take a free throw or a shot without a shot meter on, like for example, if you want to turn your shot meter off, now it's a little circular, little green ring underneath your player when you shoot. Versus on 2K19, when you shot, it'll just be like a little green spark. You know, it ain't the biggest thing, like I said, but it's a new feature. So that's it for number five. On to number six. At number six, we got that there's either a revamp takeover or a grand badge return. To me personally, I think it's a revamp takeover, but a lot of people saying they think it's grand badge. I don't really know which one it is. I don't really care. <laughs> All I can see on screen is that whichever way is something new that's in the game. Grand badge was cool for 2K17, but I think it's revamp takeover. But anyway, that's it for number six. So now let's go to number seven. Now, if you look closely under Paul George and LeBron on screen, you can see that there's some type of sensor underneath their feet. And I believe that that's what Dance and Dance pointing to on screen. If this is what I think it is, I doubt I'm gonna be paying attention to it, to be honest with you, in 2K20. Like, I doubt I'm gonna need help on defense knowing where to be on my opponent. So, I highly doubt I'm gonna use this, but some people are gonna need it. So, anyway, that's it for number seven on the list. Now, let's go to number eight. All right, last but definitely not least, it's probably the biggest thing on the list. It's where everybody's been talking about it, done seen the footage by now. And of course, I'm talking about the new shot meter or the returning shot meter from 2K17. Because I'd much rather have that shot meter than what we had in 2K19. You know, because in 2K19, the bottom shot meter would be where the two lines would meet together in the middle. And I didn't really like that format. I thought it was kind of confusing. I didn't think that was a good depiction of where you should stop your shot at. So I'm glad they're bringing it back to where it was in 2K17 because it's a whole lot easier that way. You know, you get a full meter to go straight across to the, having two lines meet in the middle. So like I said, I'm glad they finally putting that back in the game. All right, y'all, those are all the new features I noticed from the gameplay we got in Las Vegas. I know some of the things that I pointed out weren't all that big of a deal, but the gameplay we got in Las Vegas weren't all that much, so I ain't really had that much to go off of, to be honest with you, so... You know, that's all we got for now. Keep in mind, as time goes on, we're going to get more news and more stuff that's going to be coming out later on. We also know there's going to be WNBA players coming into the game in 2K20. So like I said, we just got to wait and see what comes out next. I'm pretty sure the upcoming news is going to be even bigger than what we got right now. 
But anyway, that's gonna do it for the video. Y'all can feel free to let me know in the comments down below what y'all think of the new features and what y'all think coming next features wise. Who knows, we might get new celebrities in the game. Cause you know, they was doing a lot of celebrity scams on top of that. But anyway, like I said, that's gonna do it for the video. This has been A1 Andre and I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. And until next time, I'm out.